This is St. Raphael School Sports Center. Hello, and welcome to the, our first episode of Season 2 of St. Raphael School Sports Center. I'm 8th grader, John Paul Coulter. And I'm Mac Mara. Here is our top 10 plays for this week. Play number 10, 7th grader Elena Abreu waits for a distraction and sneaks one of the flags out and captures the flag. Play number nine, seventh grader Jack White with a great hit in wiffle ball and uses his track speed to run to first base. Play number eight, sixth grader Hannah McGowan uses her track speed and steals the ball. Play number seven. Sixth grader Ben Hutton makes a great steal and passes the ball to teammate Mia Palumbo to score a point and capture the ball. Play number six, sixth grader Natalia Rodriguez Ibanez with an amazing long catch. Play number five, seventh grader Mackenzie Sargenti with a great rebound and puts it right up for a score. Play number four, Moore Mackenzie Sargenti who dribbled past half court and makes a great pass to Mason Jenok who finishes strong with a layup. Play number three. Eighth grader quarterback Austin Bodie drills the ball into the end zone for tight end Dominic Sargenti, who makes a Jason Witten type catch. Play number two, yours truly, eighth grader JP Coulter dribbles and passes to yours truly, Mac Mara, who steps back and makes a three pointer. Play number one, eighth grader Austin Bodie playing running back now and gets a pitch from Don Sargenti. Bodie uses Barry Sanders type moves, sharp cutback, then reverses his field. He could go all the way. Touchdown! Look at that move again. Wow. Feeling like I had to sleep. Our inspirational quote of the week is helping one person. Might not change the world, but it could change the world for one person. Here's an inspirational video that symbolizes this quote. Number 14 for the Little Shoot Mustang strode out with the confidence of a seasoned veteran Friday night. And while he served up Gatorade on the sidelines for years, it was senior Noah Van Voren's first time ever in pads and a helmet. This is pretty good. I'm a, I'm a big senior now. I'm, I'm so happy. My parents are here today. They have a big night tonight. Van Voren has Down syndrome, yet on this field, he's always been one of the guys. He's always positive, walking on the sideline, he'll pat you on the back, he'll say you're doing a great job. His teammates said they wanted to repay him, so they and the whole town had an even bigger surprise waiting for Van Voren on the chilly October night. As the clock ticked down in the fourth quarter of a blowout win, the final home game came to a close but there was time for just one more play. It was Van Voren's turn to take the ball. The Clintonville truckers let him pass. And away ran number 14, flanked by his teammates, down the field, all the way to the end zone. His first touchdown. I made a touchdown. I did great. As the crowd erupted, many were visibly moved by the sportsmanship. None more than Van Voren's parents, Kara and Todd. You know, he was born 18 years ago, and the doctors told us that he would never be able to walk, talk, or do anything. And then to see him 18 years later to do this is amazing. It's amazing. And to have a community as a little shoot to to back him up and to, to be to love him the way they do is is you can't, you can't put it in words. You really can't. For it turns out, the young man who first suited up in his very last game had always been the MVP in their hearts. Our Bible passage of the week is from John 15, 12. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Our inspirational song of the week is now by the legendary rock band Chicago. It's a great song about doing your absolute best here and now. Here's a clip from the video.
are going to make the best one ever, starting now. now.